She's a happy girl. She just sick. Diane and Bill Mossberger's three year old Trixie was just diagnosed with valley fever. She's very lethargic. She sleeps most of the day. She says Trixie doesn't go to dog parks or dig in the backyard, but enjoys riding in the car. She loves to just have her head out the window, you know, with the wind blowing in her face and and we're driving by all this construction that's going on down here. The Ina construction project is by their home. Diane says she always sees dust flying up, something Trixie could have breathed in. As far as valley fever cases, I'll see three or four new ones every day, and then we're treating hundreds of them. Dr. Richard Livingston with the Coma Animal Clinic says Tucson has a bad caseload of the disease. The valley fever is a, called a deep fungus. It lives on the surface of the soil. After the monsoon rains, it sporulates on the soil, and then uh, the winds come along, whip those spores into the air, and we all inhale it. He says common symptoms include a cough, fever, weight loss, and even seizures. Monthly treatment can cost up to $60, and that doesn't include doctor checkups every three to six months. So Night on Your Side asked the Arizona Department of Transportation about the construction dust. A spokesperson says crews are constantly watering the INA site to keep dust down. Also on windier days, more water is applied. Dr. Livingston says there's no way to prevent a dog from getting valley fever. If they're outside, they're exposed. What I think I've learned from this is with our wind on these windy days and near all this construction is maybe keep them inside. Priscilla Casper, KGUN 9, on your side.